They are seemingly content with allow, watching their patients die, not, not doing anything else, just watching them die. A grandfather on a ventilator fighting COVID, and his family is going to court to get the hospital to administer the controversial drug ivermectin. Hello again, everyone. I'm Tom Abrams. Thanks for staying up late with us on this Sunday. A court ruled in favor of that family, but the hospital, they say, still won't administer it. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor now joins us with the family's fight and what the hospital says in response. Pete Lopez has been in the ICU here for weeks. His family doesn't want to say whether he's been vaccinated or not, but they believe this drug is their last hope. Pete Lopez, a 74 year old man from Richmond, has been at Memorial Hospital in Sugarland for almost a month battling COVID-19. His family describes him as the patriarch of the family. The combat Vietnam War veteran suffered a heart attack a few years ago, but his family says he's otherwise healthy. In fact, they can't get him to slow down. <laughs> He's been on a ventilator. His granddaughter, Gabrielle Snyder, speaking on behalf of the family, his wife too upset to speak. She's afraid she's gonna lose her best friend. Snyder says they want the hospital to use ivermectin to treat Lopez. Health officials have warned against the controversial drug, which is intended for animals. The FDA has approved its use in people for the treatment of specific parasitic diseases, but not COVID-19. Still, Snyder says they've exhausted all options. And now it's, it's a, a wait and see. They're not, they've, they've said there's nothing else they can do, so why not? His family says the hospital won't listen to their requests. They sued Memorial Herman and a judge ruled in favor of the family earlier this week, ordering the hospital to administer ivermectin. Despite that order, Snyder says the hospital still has not given the drug to Lopez. ABC 13 reached out to Memorial Herman. While they can't comment on specific cases, they sent us a statement that said, quote, physicians diagnose and treat patients consistent with the best medical practices. It is the role of medical providers to determine safe and effective courses of treatment for patients. It went on to say, quote, outside of ongoing clinical trials, the FDA, CDC, and WHO discouraged the use of ivermectin as a treatment for COVID-19. But that man's will to live is so powerful. And he's fighting to live, and Memorial Herman is fighting against him. The family's attorney tells us the hospital filed an appeal, but he says they're violating a court order, and he plans on filing a motion for consent on Tuesday.